Welcome to today's video where we dive deep into the psychology behind shit talking. We've all been there, right? Hearing someone tear down another behind their back, it's a common scenario. But why do people engage in this behavior? It's not rocket science. There are real underlying reasons why people do it. It's often a symptom of deeper issues. So let's explore the key psychological drivers behind shit talking. From insecurity and jealousy to the need for social bonding, there are multiple factors at play. Understanding these can help us navigate social interactions better and foster healthier communication. Now, let's talk about insecurity and self-esteem. Some people carry a big bag of insecurities filled with self-doubt and fear. When that bag gets too heavy, they dump negativity onto others. It's called projection. They deflect attention from their own shortcomings by highlighting others' flaws. It's a classic case of misery loving company. Humans are social creatures craving connection and belonging. We thrive on interactions and the sense of being part of a community. Sometimes that need leads to social bonding through trash talk. It's a way to feel closer by sharing secrets or making fun of others. Groups bond over shared negativity, defining themselves by who they exclude. This exclusion can create a strong sense of belonging within the group. It's like building a fence of gossip and insults around your group. These negative interactions can reinforce group identity and solidarity. This creates a perverse sense of unity, even if rooted in negativity. The shared laughter and agreement can make the group feel closer. It's a dark path to feeling connected. While it may bring temporary closeness, it often leads to regret and isolation in the long run. For some, shit-talking is a tool for power and control. They use words as weapons to assert dominance and belittle others. These bullies exploit weakness and insecurity ruthlessly. They'll spread rumors and plant seeds of doubt to maintain power. Often, they hide their true intentions behind a charming facade. Uh, we've all felt jealousy and envy. These emotions can drive ugly behavior, including shit-talking. It's a way to minimize others' achievements to feel better about oneself. Life's a pressure cooker, and we all need to let off steam. Some use shit-talking as their emotional dumping ground. They unload frustrations onto others, often those closest to them. It's a form of displacement, taking out stress on unrelated people. Emotional shrapnel hits everyone around them. Nobody wants to be the odd one out. We crave acceptance and belonging. This need can lead to conformity and peer pressure. Some engage in shit-talking to fit in, even if it compromises their values. It's a case of going along to get along, sacrificing integrity. Some people love feeling morally superior. They judge and criticize, justifying their behavior as speaking the truth. This allows them to bypass accountability for their own actions. They're so busy pointing out others' flaws they ignore their own. Drama can be entertaining. Some use shit-talking as a form of entertainment. They get a thrill from spreading rumors and stirring the pot. These gossip mongers thrive on chaos and negativity. They're like emotional vampires, leaving destruction in their wake. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the psychology behind shit-talking. And it's fascinating how something so seemingly trivial can have such profound effects on our relationships and social dynamics. While it might offer short-term benefits like a quick boost to one's ego or a momentary sense of superiority, it comes at a high cost. The immediate gratification is often overshadowed by long-term consequences. It erodes trust, creates division, and perpetuates negativity. Relationships that took years to build can be damaged in an instant. The ripple effects can be far-reaching, affecting not just the individuals involved, but also the broader community. Next time you feel the urge to trash talk, ask yourself, is it really worth the cost? Consider the potential damage to your relationships and the negative energy it brings into your life. Reflect on the value of kindness and constructive communication. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more insightful content. Your support helps us continue to explore important topics and bring you valuable insights. Stay tuned for more.